Epic Poesy Presents A Woman's Mood by Jennings Carmichael I think tonight I could bear it all Even the arrow that cleft the core Could I wait again for your swift footfall And your sunny face coming in at the door With the old frank look and the gay young smile And the ring of the words you used to say I could almost deem the pain worthwhile To greet you again in the olden way But you stand without in the dark and cold And I may not open the long closed door Nor call through the night with the love of old Come into the warmth as in nights of yore I kneel alone in the red fire glow And hear the wings of the wind sweep by you are out afar in the night, I know, and the sough of the wind is like a cry. You are out afar, and I wait within, a grave-eyed woman whose pulse is slow. The flames round the red coals softly spin, and the lonely rooms in a rosy glow. The firelight falls on your vacant chair, and the soft brown rug where you used to stand, dear, Never again shall I see you there, nor lift my head for your seeking hand. Yet sometimes still, and in spite of all, I wistful look at the fastened door, and wait again for the swift footfall, and the gay young voice as in hours of yore. It still seems strange to be here alone, with the rising sob of the wind without. The sound takes a deep, insisting tone where the trees are swinging their arms about. Its moaning reaches the sheltered room and thrills my heart with a sense of pain. I walk to the window and pierce the gloom with a yearning look that is all in vain. You are out in a night of depths that hold no promise of dawning for you and me and only a ghost from the life of old has come from the world of memory. You are out evermore God wills it so, but ah, my spirit is yearning yet. As I kneel alone by the red fire glow, my eyes grow dim with the old regret. Oh, when shall the aching throb grow still? The warm love life turn cold at the core. Must I be watching against my will for your banished face in the opening door? It may be, dear, when the sequel's told of the story, read to its bitter close, when the inner meanings of life unfold, and the underside of our being shows, it may be then, in that truer light, when all our knowledge has larger grown, I may understand why you stray tonight, and I am left, with the past, alone. <laughs>